Setting up Time Machine What is Time Machine? No, it's not something from a sci-fi movie. It's real and lives right in every new Mac. Time Machine is Apple's backup solution built into Mac OS X Leopard and Snow Leopard. Time Machine does more than just take your files and put them somewhere else for safekeeping. It also allows you to literally go back in time, hence the name Time Machine, and recover either all of your computer data or even just an individual file, email, contact, or photo that you may have accidentally deleted or misplaced sometime in the past. All that is required to get Time Machine working on your Mac is a dedicated external backup drive that has enough room to put all of your computer data on it with some more room for sequential backups. So in other words, if your Mac has a 500 gigabyte hard drive internally, you'll want to get an extra Time Machine hard drive at least the same size or larger depending on how full your internal Mac hard drive is. Another option is to use an Apple Time Capsule. Without getting into a lot of detail, an Apple Time Capsule is basically an Apple Airport Extreme Router with a hard drive inside of it. The hard drive acts in the same way as an external hard drive does, giving Time Machine a place to store and back up your data. But in this case, you can do it over a wired or wireless network rather than with a hard drive and USB or Firewire cable. Either way, whether you're using an external hard drive or an Apple Time Capsule, Time Machine acts virtually the same. In our example, we'll be using an external hard drive for our Time Machine backup. Let's start off by setting Time Machine up to start automatically backing up. The first thing you'll want to do is connect your dedicated backup disk to your Mac using a USB or Firewire cable. In most cases, it will be a USB cable. If this is the first time you've connected this disk, your Mac will more than likely ask you if you want to use this drive as your Time Machine disk. At this point, you need to confirm this action and allow your Mac to set up the hard drive for Time Machine usage. This generally requires reformatting the hard drive, so keep in mind of any data you have on that disk as it'll be erased. If you're not asked to set up your hard drive as a Time Machine drive, you can also do this manually. Let's do this now. At the top of your menu bar, you'll see an icon that looks a bit like a clock with a counterclockwise arrow around it. This is your Time Machine icon. Let's click on it now and select Open Time Machine Preferences. You'll notice an on-off switch on the left side. Yours should be in the off position like this. Click it to the on position and a drop-down window with a list of possible backup locations and or disks should appear. Select your backup disk or location from the list and press the Use for Backup button. Remember, this could be an external hard drive or a time capsule network drive. Believe it or not, that's it. Time Machine will now automatically start backing up your data. During the first Time Machine backup, you'll see a progress bar indicating how far along you are in your first initial backup. Thereafter, Time Machine will do hourly sequential backups of just the data that may have been added or changed from hour to hour. I would recommend you don't do too much with your computer while Time Machine does its first big backup of your entire Mac, and make sure not to put your computer to sleep 
or turn it off while a time machine backup is in progress. You can tell when a backup is happening by visually checking the time machine menu bar icon. If the arrow is spinning, then time machine is currently in the process of doing a backup.